Hey YouTube, we are back to uh, disassemble this Galaxy S3. We're going to show the whole process of removing the glass and disassembling the phone, gluing it back together, and then uh, reassembling the phone so you can see the entire replacement. This uh, phone has some dings and some nicks and some chips on the screen. Um, and it's got a, an actual crack in the, the frame. So what I'm going to do is we're going to replace the frame um, as well as the glass on this phone and really make it look like it's brand new. Uh, would be the, the ending goal of what we're trying to do here. We'll need a Phillips head screwdriver, uh, just a small one. We'll need a pry tool. And also a dental pick, which is my uh, weapon of choice for uh, ribbon cables and uh, other cables underneath. We're going to go ahead and just remove the back off the phone. And you want to make sure you remove your SIM or your SD card, and we're going to take our battery out here as well. The next thing we need to do is remove the screws around the exterior of the phone. You can see that they're all silver all the way around. Let's go ahead and remove them. They're all exactly the same size, so no concerns on uh, uh, mixing these up. They do get stuck in the frame, uh, which is uh, kind of a, a pain. You can use a pair of tweezers to help pry them out if you want to, um, or you can leave them until you pry the actual plastic back housing off here, uh, and they'll usually just pop out then. A few more to go on the outside of the phone. This one's just being a little tricky. Acts like it's still in there, but it uh, looks like it just doesn't want to come out. Take a pair of tweezers to pull these screws out. Um, I don't like to leave them in while I take the back housing off. Um, <clears throat> sometimes they fly out and they go everywhere. Uh, you definitely don't want to lose any of the screws because these also act as screws that hold down the logic board into, onto the interior of the phone as well. Uh, although there is one screw that holds the logic board in as well. These ones down here are actually holding the charging port, so they're pretty important to make sure that you put back into the phone. This is being really tricky. Alright. Well, we might just have to leave it in there as we pull the back of the frame off. Now, the easiest way to gain separation between uh, the back of the frame and the phone itself is, is to pull it off like that. Um, you can push a little... Um, pressure onto uh, the battery housing and use your pry tool to get it off. That's normally how it has to be done. Um, this one's a little bit looser than most. Alright, we do need to remove the black housing down here at the bottom as well. Um, starting just on the right hand side here and then pulling it towards uh, you seems to be the easiest way to do it. There we go. And you can see that we have a few connectors on here, a few ribbon cables, um, which we'll need to go ahead and undo. We'll be removing everything from the back of this phone. Uh, first of all, pop up is this ribbon cable here, or this uh, little antenna cable. It is taped down, so let's remove the tape and then kind of pull the cable out. We have a cable connection here. That would be our LCD connector. We have a underneath a logic board connector and our front facing camera here, which we'll go ahead and remove. Or not, it doesn't seem like it wants to come out. Might have a little adhesive on it. We'll save it until we get the logic board out. There is a screw right here that we need to remove off the logic board before we remove it. It is a black screw, so you can definitely make sure that uh, it goes back into its rightful place. We remove the interior of the logic board, and the uh, rear-facing camera will stay attached to it as well. If you need to replace that, it's a pretty simple fix to this point. All right, we're going to go ahead and... 
take out a few more. Like I said, we have a screw here holding this down, which we'll go ahead and remove. And just pry this up. Start underneath the pin here. And that is uh, just a little clamp for the holding the camera in, it looks like. I'm just going to pry it up slowly like so. And here's our earpiece. We're going to go ahead and remove it as well. It's going to pull this ribbon cable up as it works its way down, and there's a little c connector uh, here that this uh, wire is soldered onto the board, so we're going to go ahead and just leave it and try to get underneath it just a little bit to pull it up. There we go. Let's start on our connector on this side. We're going to have to separate our volume button, a ribbon cable here, this is one set. Uh, these are glued to the interior of the mid-frame here, so I'm just going to use my pry tool slowly and gently and pry it away from the frame, one small portion at a time. You want to go nice and slow with these, especially this ribbon cable here. It's uh, you definitely don't want to have to replace it if you don't need to. You can use a small uh, uh, flat screwdriver uh, to help pry this off or an additional pry tool of some sort. Dental pick will work fine for you if you have one. And just try to wiggle it until it becomes loose. It's got a couple of uh, connectors that hold it into the interior of the phone. That uh, just needs to kind of slide out and get the adhesive out from behind. All right, let's go ahead and try that forward. And really, true, that's the large part of the phone here. We're going to remove our vibrating uh, module out of here. I'm going to this glued in, so just get your uh, pry tool just underneath it. And it has a little bit of a logic board here by it as well, so we're just going to go ahead and pry underneath that as well. And just gain a little bit of separation. You don't want to manhandle this. You definitely want to make sure that it's starting to separate before you start tugging on it too much. Now as we do this, we want to make sure that everything comes out of the exterior or the, on the, the back side of this phone, especially all the little rubber gaskets as we'll be heating the back side of this up to relieve the LCD from the interior of the phone as well. You can see here's a little uh, rubber gasket, so we'll go ahead and just pull that out. Just looking through the phone to see if there's any additional ones. We'll be using a heat gun on the back of this uh, to pry up the LCD. So. It will probably have to heat up to roughly 180, 190 degrees. So we want to make sure that uh, we don't have any plastic back here that's melting itself back to the mid-frame of the phone. And also, a lot of the replacement uh, frames, depending upon where you get it from, don't come with these replacement gaskets. Uh, so you want to make sure that you do have them uh, for your replacements. I have one down here at the bottom of the phone as well. Just looking it over, see if there's anything that I've missed. Pull up these little uh, heat panels here as well. Can you reuse those? Now, if you bought the uh, replacement LCD with the mid-frame, truly this is where you uh, would stop taking it apart. So it should really have 
almost all these additional parts. You can go ahead and reassemble at this point. Uh, you can click the link below in this video to hop straight to the reassembly video. Um, if you want to go to the next video uh, in this, which will be uh, removing the glass off of the frame, uh, go ahead and click the link on the right, and that will take you to that part of the video. And after we remove the glass and the LCD out of the frame, uh, then we'll go ahead and show you the uh, loca gluing process as well. One more gasket here. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and like it. Um, if you want to see some additional videos, go ahead and subscribe to me and you can keep updated on all of my uh, repair processes as I go. Thanks for watching you guys and I'll see you uh, after the next video.